Going on to you, Aries. <clears throat> you have the Emperor, <clears throat> the Knight of Swords, and the Queen of Cups. Obviously, Emperor, Aries, first card out, first zodiac sign going clockwise. A lot, whole lot of irony. Um, so okay, so a lot of you Aries have no problem putting yourselves out there romantically first. I don't see a lot of you Aries having a lot of fear of doing that. I see um, what I'm really seeing here is a lot of people having a problem with you because you're putting yourself out here. There's a sense of you, Aries, um, people not really being ready for you, right? You'll know when someone is really being serious or if someone is playing a game with you when you tell them that you like them when you let them know that you into them, right? Like people who run away from people who let them know that that they're that those people are into them, they're goofies. Countless times, can't even tell you countless times. You know what I'm saying? You know, I told somebody like them, and then now they're running off scared. That's a goofy. You know, that's a that's a that's that's not type of person that I want to be with long term truth be told and it's the same thing for you a lot of you Aries are you know a lot of you Aries are being much more direct about what you want and a lot of people can't handle it they a lot of people running off scared they will run off scared but again those are not people that you really should take seriously you know a couple of you Aries I'm not going to say which ones of y'all but a couple of you Aries thanked me a few weeks ago about how it is that, you know, I've really I've really helped y'all out because I've helped y'all to really understand to just keep it moving. And yeah, because like it is that I said before, talk is cheap, you know. Talk is cheap at the end of the day. It's one thing to act like I have value, or not me, but it's one thing to act like you have value, but it's another thing to bring value to yourself and to other people. You know, then how are they going to move? You understand what I'm saying? Like, I've been in situations myself where, you know, real talk. I'm I'm like, I know of, I know an Aries who lives in my neighborhood who I really liked her. And, you know, um, you know, had a chance to talk to her. But, you know, we don't see eye to eye. But if we would have, for various reasons, talk to you off camera about that. But um, if we were seeing eye to eye, though, I wanted to essentially uh, help her get through the abyss. I wanted her to climb the Kabbalistic tree, right? Or to descend the, the clip ball tree. And what happened? Would have gained a lot more, would have gained a lot more mystical influence Right, a lot more spiritual influence and spirituality, and a lot more mysticism because I, I deal with mysticism, right, as well as spirituality as well, of course. And she would have gained a lot more power, you know, from descending or going through the Kabbal the Kabbalistic tree or the clipboard tree, right? Either or, right, one or the either or both or either or, and. I really liked her. You know, I really wanted to go through that, but we didn't even get that far. We didn't even get passed through, like, just talking on the phone for once, right? Like, like, not even texting in that sense, right? So, you know, it is what it is. Regardless of the who or the what, that's, that's not the type of person that I want long term because all these people wasting my time I got a whole lot of value in, to to bring, but they so worried about getting over on somebody. It doesn't get any, it doesn't get that far because they're so worried about getting over on the person, and they're so worried about frivolous things like little trinkets, like dinner dates, and all this other type of goofy stuff, right? It's like let's get into some real stuff. Let's get into some science. Let's get into some mysticism, right? Not everything. You have to lift a finger for it. That's what mysticism is there for. So that you don't always have to manually do everything from manual labor. Physically, 
you know, do something and pick up, pick up something and move it into a different location. Other things can turn out the way that it, it, it you want it to turn out and stuff like this from just doing it once correctly, just doing the magic once and then your whole life because it's a permanent thing until you control it to stop being a permanent thing or to stop your whole life is set for you in that regard you know i i done did some some spiritual spells on myself right for financial prosperity that people don't know what they are so they can't even undo right they don't even know what they are they can't even undo it and anybody who tries it it's gonna it's gonna just whatever kind of nonsense is going to spiritually go back to them and and this stuff has been working out it's been working out it's going to continue to work out right and that's my point though so the point that i'm trying to make here with you is a lot of people really like i said are not really ready for what it is that you what the value that you can really bring to them really they so worried about playing games it's just honestly it's, it's really the stupidity of it all because it's like they're so worried about the person told me that they like me i don't really want to be a part of this yeah but you you benefit stupid they're so dumb they're, they they don't even you can't even get that far so the five of wands and the eight of swords is about how um all it ends up being is then what it ends up being like is, and this is why a lot of you Aries are just, you don't take anyone seriously who cannot say that they like you and you and cannot take the fact that you may tell them that you like them because it becomes this race to the bottom, right? And what I mean by that is it becomes this race where you, you know, you Aries are stepping in with some value and you Aries are willing to work in tandem right alongside this person to build a wonderful uh relationship with them and it be, like i said it becomes this race to the bottom it's it's all about how this person is ruining something that is benefiting them and it's like why would anybody ruin a relationship that in all intensive purposes is benefiting them right this is why it is that i say that i don't and it's the truth. I don't waste my time hanging around and messing with dysfunctional people. The only type of people that I look for and seek to establish relationships with romantically or friendship wise or whatever, right, are valuable people. Because for me, I don't even see the me and I definitely understand Aries. I don't even see the point of why why would I if I have a wife that's helping me touch some real paper, right? Some real money, a lot of money. And she knows how to flip assets and stuff like this <clears throat> in a way that benefits me. Why would I now cheat on that person with someone who is a dumb... <laughs> See, I'm trying to... <laughs> who's a dummy? right and this is what i mean when i this is what it is that i be saying when i say that you have multiple people who be wanting multiple people in in they think that that's that's okay that may be for some people but it ain't for me because i don't see the value in it cheating is going to bring down everything that you built in the relationship you have yourself a wonderful partner a partner who's really helping you and stuff like this and and they really there's really prosperity you're bringing value so there's prosperity for them they're bringing value there's prosperity for you the two of you doing that as an infinite cycle you're bringing prosperity to the relationship you now what is the plan the plan is to go cheat to bring down said value right person now cheats next thing you know person wants to now come into your life mess all that up it becomes this race to the bottom so the thing is that the, the eight of swords is about how no, 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 no. You Aries aren't looking for that. You're looking for someone where it's a race to the top. It's not a race to the bottom, right? The Queen of Wands and the King of Swords, <clears throat> excuse me, is about how, um, and, you know, can people deal with that originality? Can people deal with that, that 
proper thinking process because their their thinking process is all warped it's all delusional it's all out of you know what i'm saying it's all it's weird it's instead of it being a race to the top like hey you know let's go to the moon with this and beyond they're like oh no let's 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 stay down let's keep descending let's get worse it's like what are we talking about you know, let's get worse. Let's let's not. And, I, and I'm not even talking about on a spiritual level of the whole clip off. I'm talking about like descending. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about like, let's get worse in the sense of let's become more confused, bring more confusion, more dysfunction, more. There's no we're not actually going to move out of the dysfunction. We're just going to make things more tangled up. Right. This is what happens when people are spiritually caught in a clip off without a map. And then the thing is that the Seven of Cups now is about how um, you have many options. So if somebody gets on your nerves or somebody that you Aries are talking to that would get on your nerves, right? And it's early, just stop talking to them. If the person is going to get on your nerves, if they're really on your last nerves and it's, and it's right and it's new do not even waste your time you know if they're getting on your nerves a lot like this is a reoccurring thing right let me preface that if they're getting on your nerves a lot right and it's new this is a reoccurring thing and it's new you just started hanging out with them a month ago and they've done gotten on your nerves a lot this interaction this relationship that you have you got to let them go. Overall, so far, people can't handle you. The King of Swords, you've met a couple of people recently that you're talking to. You're trying to see who's the best person. You're trying to see who's the most prepared to actually be in a relationship, to bring value in, you know, to receive love from you. Okay, the Seven of Swords and the Two of Pentacles is because there's a lot of people who's going to, on some Two of Pentacles type stuff, make it as frustrating as they possibly can by bringing in confusion. And the Seven of Swords, you're setting up that gate to keep everybody, to keep trespassers out, to keep people out. You're setting that up. And the thing is, the thing is, is that for you, you want to make sure that um, you create that that dividing line. You Aries want to make sure that when a person comes in and they, like I said, they start to make things as confusing, that anger can distort your thoughts if you let it, right? It can it can start to make things confuse, confusing if you let it, right? And then things from the confusion, you start to make terrible decisions, and then it can and then it it can um, affect negatively your performance right as aries whatever it is that you got going on so what i'm trying to so what i'm saying to you aries is simplify all of that whatever it is that a person is coming in create that kind of boundary right create that kind of psychic defense there's an excellent book that you can get called the psychic defense book by edt something like that i'll have to go back but psychic defense book i'm even going to go ahead and pick up that book and, and read it and to create an automatic psychic defense. So help me out, make myself, you know, even much more spiritually invincible in that sense, or a lot, you know, spiritually guarded from dysfunctions and goofy individuals. But the point that I'm trying to make here is, right? What I'm trying to make here is, is that, again, the Seven of Cups, you got a couple of people that you could be trying out, seeing what type of time they on. And you just want to make sure that none of them are on some dysfunctional stuff, right? And it, it's a couple. It is a couple of people, right? So it's more, I should say, more than two. But let's clarify Seven of Cups. Could be two. Could be more than two. Two of Swords. Nine of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles. Lovers. Nine of Pentacles. Okay. Two of Swords, Knight of Pentacles. Continue to move forward. If they're knuckleheads, your dating life is not done. 
right now. Your dating life is not finished right now. Um, just move forward, right? You care a little bit too much about what dysfunctional people have to say. Uh, don't, you know, if, I mean, if they're gonna come into your life and try to waste their time, why do you care so much, right? And trust me, that's one of the messages that I'm picking up. Don't care so much about what they got going on because why should you? The Queen of Pentacles, right, is um, once you stop, once you start being unbothered, this is, like I said before, once you start being unbothered, they're gonna have a real problem with that, but you're not. You know, you know how many times people have to like make it seem like I'm desperate for them. And it's like, is this the reason why does I stop talking to you? You know, like the stories that they have to tell themselves, right? It's like, it's like the reality is, am I really desperate to get at you or really do, or really I just come by and say, what's up? And I just leave. Is that what's actually happening or is it? what is actually going on you feel what i'm saying like what is actually happening here what is actually going on for real for real and again the delusion right a lot of people's delusion stepping a lot of people don't understand me and my style and i know this is about you but what i'm saying is what i'm telling you is something that i know works right when you don't really care like that about what the like the stories that people tell themselves the truth is i'm never desperate to be with anybody there was a point in time where I was like that when I was younger, right? Even in my 20s, I ain't even gonna lie, right? My 20s up until about 25, right? To be fair with this thing. But I don't even allow, I don't even, not even allow, it's automatic at this point. I don't even get that to that point because what is there to, what honestly, what value, like I don't see a lot of value like that as far as me being in a relationship with someone right like i don't what, what kind of you know what i'm saying like when these people act like they have all this value in particular right because i'm not going to say i don't see value but ever anywhere right but i'm talking about some people that delude themselves into this i don't be seeing what value they think that they be bringing or what or what they see they be living in their own world right because I don't care when you have that kind of, you know, this, and this is part of the reason why I have that nonchalant attitude is because once again, I've learned how to not hold on to anything or to anyone too tightly because that way it works that, and it works for me. And it has nothing, you know, these goofy individuals, I'm defensive. Look, look, the reality, look, the dysfunction, the, 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 the projection, it's not even real. What's happening here, Aries, right? To tell you the real deal scoop of it is, is this reason, right? When you, people playing games, when you have the mentality where you're a winner, right? When you're a winner, when you're like, look, let, let it go, right? Even the things that bother you, you're probably gonna spend a couple of hours on it, maybe even a day, then maybe even two days, then you let it go. You win a lot because you're not caught up with what most people are caught up with, right? Like I, what I'm doing here is simplifying people's lives to where all these like extra, I don't know, rules and these things that you, know, you can't seem like you're too interested. You can't text the person. Da, 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 da. It's like, listen, forget about all of that goofy nonsense. This is goofiness you interested in somebody go after what it is that you want this is how you get the person because you got a lot of people out here who acting like they cool who ruining their lives so playing this games isn't working we need to do something else right when when you have a nonchalant attitude where the rules that other that the majority of people live in civilization right air quotes on a civilization thing because these people are not civil at all some of them you will do things that you legitimately want to do you live a more fulfilling lifestyle that way okay and you won't be so caught up with the qualms or the problems with 
you telling a person that you like them. If they decide, oh, well, I got to cut the Aries off out of my life. Why? Because the Aries told me that they like me. Let them say that stupid stuff to themselves and leave your life. That ain't the kind of person that you should want to hang out with anyway. Think about how warped their mindset is. You Aries told, this Aries told me that they liked me. Let me stay away from them. Okay, as opposed to what? The lovers in the nine of pentacles is now about how, uh, uh, how, so you, so because you Aries are looking for someone that you can actually get to know, right? The nine of wands represents, you might be a little bit worried about this. If there's even someone out there for you at all. My suggestion to you, Aries, is to keep looking. If that's what you're looking for, to be with someone, and a lot of you are looking for that, keep looking. Do not, what I'm, look, let me help you out even more. Do not be with someone where their mentality, their mentality is warped. Their mentality doesn't make any sense. You, Aries, let them know that you're into them and they're running away scared. The only reason why they would be running away scared if someone were to, the, the only reasonable excuse, the only justification for someone to run, run off and to and to give you a difficult time is if they see real deal breakers with you that they don't want to hang around that's it it and, but this is why does i tell you aries to get your personality on point get your character on point get your finances on point get your social standings with other people on point have a good reputation because the more you get your character on point the more your finances get on point, right? The more your social standing with other people, you do right by others, get on point. When people start to show you that whole other face and it's dysfunctional, you're going to be able to get a chance to see who's truly dysfunctional. You're gonna be able to get a chance to see they're the problem. Because you're trying it with them and that would be a blessing. It would be common sense for them to allow you into their life. You're a blessing. And for them to be like, oh no, the Aries said that they like me. I got to get away from them. What kind of a mentality is that to have? That would mean that they're the problem. You see? So just keep dating, you know, and, and don't. You know, just try your best to really stay away from people who have that kind of obtuse, that, excuse me, that obtuse weird mentality. But that's it. Com that's, that's it. That's pretty much it for the reading. Smash the subscribe button, smash the like button, hit the notification bell, set the notification bell to all so you can be notified whenever I drop my videos. I'm trying to make my YouTube channel grow to 100,000 subs. We at 13,966. Smash the subscribe button, smash the like button, all that good stuff. Really appreciate it. And uh, yeah, we out.